and decided to record them and they must be recalled they are coming back to Nigeria and I have announcement if you think you have a calling for missions you can see me at the end of the meeting I'll record them so that they can be trained it's decided nothing will prevent it now all of you that we are given uh, like uh, the people from uh, where? From Zambia, from uh, one of us was made, uh, was made um, what? Um, um, missions director. All those people that were just recently appointed, I'm going to write them letters. What they are is acting. I can't afford to make the mistake that I made before to make somebody call him the same pastor. Call him national overseer whose ability I don't know. Who has not proven. Go to the Bible. The people that must be those deacons. There must be people that are not double tongued. People that have been proved You prove them. They show they are qualified. You give them the work, the labor, and prove that they should be this. And then you make them. I made mistakes in times past. Terrible mistake. But somebody goes and he becomes that same past. And as a result, he didn't know that there is something to do to qualify for that name. This ministry is a ministry that cannot be quantified and is not negotiable. God does not joke with this ministry. Did anybody hear me? Yes, sir. God does not joke with watchman and what is what we are doing. God does not joke with it. And God gave me training for this ministry, for this position. And you got to look to that man. I can't bring you to work here because you are from my village. When the scholarship scheme was floated, my cousin's son, I went to see him. Dead. My daughter, my two children, they have applied for the scholarship. And then I want you to see what you can do. I said, what I came here to do is to sympathize with uh, you on the thieves that came to attack you. I didn't come here to talk about scholarship. And then, by the way, do they know where to send the application? Yes. Have they done the examination? Yes. Now, if they pass the examination, the first examination, academic examination, they will go and face a particular board, committee. I am not in that committee, and I don't influence the committee. Do you hear? That's the end. I don't influence it. The child failed the examination. And that's the end. If you are screaming, putting your man, you are cutting problem. Because, you know what? Please think. We have not reached. You have not reached. And I tell you finally, if I say finally and then I go on, you are the person that God used to spot somebody. Listen to me. 
somebody that was a relative of mine was employed here. I was not instrumental to his employment. And now he was working here. And now and went and liaised with some other person that was working here. Who was not born again. But people that will see me and say, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. That's why I was very happy about the prayer of yesterday. Sanitize this place. Take away the people that don't belong to this place. You, if you knew how I was jumping in the house. Take them away. Take them away. I didn't say kill them. Take them away. I was very happy. Sanitize this place. Now, he lies with another person. And we were selling, a, we had two graders. One was gigantic. I wanted to sell the gigantic one. And they sold the grader six million. And deceived us that they sold it five million. And took one million and distributed among themselves. Church people. And then, I don't know how God led him. And he called, I may have told you before, I tell it again. Then he called the person that was in charge of that cell. And said, let me tell you something. If by any means that greater was sold for a higher amount of money and you people are telling us that it sold for five million, the only way the people that did that kind of thing will escape from God is if the GS is doing that kind of thing. then God will not do them any hurt because that is what Jesus is doing. And now, or he himself, that's B, talking to the person. He didn't know why he was talking to him. Or if he himself is doing that kind of thing, being Jesus' representative in this place. But if G neither Jesus nor him is doing that kind of thing, anybody that does it will not escape. And the man said, sir, let me tell you the truth. You have heard it before? We sold the greater for six million. And then he mentioned eh? 6.5. And he mentioned the people that distributed the money among themselves, including that person that was employed here. And then he told me there's something. And we were here at this rock shopper. I told you before. And then that person that was involved was with us. Three of us were standing. And I said, this is the information that I received. There. He said, God of the rock shepherd. We are in the rock shepherd. God is here. God of the rock shepherd. I did not do such a thing. In this hall, there. And then, but as I looked at him, I saw that he was looking at him strangely. He was looking at the young man strangely, looking at him this way. Then in my mind, I said, there must be a reason he's looking at him. And then I turned to him, can you tell me why you are looking at him this way? And then he said, that what he doesn't understand is how somebody has did evil. And the evil has been discovered. And the person, instead of repenting and being penitent, the person is lying. And then the person is denying that he is not going to call the person that was among the people, the, people, the champion of the something. I said, call him. And I called him and I took the phone from him. And I told the man, I am Jesus. Is Jesus speaking? This is what this person that is here said. You know what the man said? 
He said, what is he talking about? If he continues denying, the, the phone should be put in speaker or something like that so that he can tell us the account number where his money was paid. It was when he had that that he melted and was speechless. And then the next day, till now, he didn't come to work again. I'm not the person that sacked him. Church, take your time. All these sisters, eh? All these sisters, eh? All these women, ladies, ladies, ladies in church, pastors' wives. The question I'm asking you is this What are you doing in this church? What is your role? Your role, is it the role of creating offenses? Clashing with one another. Struggling for leadership. When you come back, I will tell you that every position has qualifications. And you will need to find out whether you have the qualification for the position you are occupying. If you don't, if you don't make haste to resign, and if you don't make haste to change to be qualified, you are looking for God's judgment. I'm telling you the truth. And I plead with you. Don't let us be like these people that destroyed themselves. It's where I want to end. Do they like you where you are? How many people are for you? <coughs> where you are? How many? And how many people are against you? And if the majority are against you, what's the reason? The reason is you didn't have a hole to look at, looked up. I can tell you, if you bring all watchmen here in this compound, assuming it will accommodate us and you remove all these buildings, listen to me, eh? and make a podium very high, and put me on it. And let us assume that there are 100,000 in Nigeria. Assumption I make. And then put a mic, mic speakers. And say all ye men and women. And brothers and sisters. And newcomers. And boys and girls. Now. Do you like this man? Okay, if you put me, some people that don't like me may, may be somehow, because it will be discovered. Let us assume you didn't put me. And then you said, just tell the truth. Okay, now what you do is write, write what you, whether you like this man, whether you want him to continue to be our GS. Write it. Don't let any other person know what you have written. After writing it, put it in this basket. Listen to me. By the time you go to carry that 100,000 pieces of paper, I can assure you that you will get 85% of people that like me. I can assure you that. Minimum of 85%. 85% is uh, distinction. 
but I'm sure that you may have 90. <laughs> I may also get 95. I may also get 95, I'm telling you. But then, how come that this, the life, this man, this man also talks hard? Wah, wah, wah. But I know that this man likes the people. This man is saying the truth. This man is, is showing good example. This man is not joking. This man doesn't hurt any person. This, this man spends his life. And, oh my God. And then there are women that are there, men are there, that spend their life. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Sometimes, some people, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Some of these women, can I tell you something? Some of these pastors, you are shooting your husband. Don't let them kill my husband for me. Don't let them kill my husband for me. Now, all of you go away. You are saying it, you, you skim one thing, you know, so that uh, your, your husband will, will not labor again, lest they kill Kill your husband. I am sorry. Let me take an excuse from my wife. My wife doesn't save me. In fact, she is the person bringing all the people. Telling them, come and see daddy. If daddy touches you, you are okay. <laughs> whether, I, whether it is midnight. And it is better that way. And that is the reason many of those people like her. Are you telling... Are you telling I am telling you the truth. Many of those women, many of those people that have one problem or the other, that you must see this person, that you must see this person, that you must see this person. But you, you are saying, leave my husband alone. Leave my husband alone. That's the difference between you, between you and my wife, and between your husband and my husband. Listen. A, a lady that switched over to washman, 75 years old, the person I was talking about. And then I heard when he was calling, I, I, calling her on phone and said, Mommy, can you come to Lagos from Ijebode now? I will tell daddy to come and see you. But you know what? By the time I finished with the woman, it was about, I had blabbered in the office. And then he called me and said, the woman is coming from Ijebode. What am I going to do? I needed to go and tend to the woman, and the woman was so happy. Did you see that? But you are serving your husband. But now, who is better? The people that saved their lives and created the troubles. And the people who say, uh, see now, pastor, I wanted him to pray for me, and the wife is... Uh, He's uh, blocking it. I've talked today. Who will change? I believe that since we have not died, there is chance. It is not late yet. I stand up. Pray. Your decision can be this, and I recommend that it should be. Lord, from today, I stay within the confines of this ministry. From today, I cease to operate as though there is no leader. As though there is no point person that God has appointed to be the supervisor. To guide. Lord, I cease to operate that way.
Lord, I seize the bread as though there is no yet stick. What about this claim that somebody remained in church for 38 years and was not a pastor from the one and was ruled by other people and interacted with other people in the church and made up his mind that he was not going to cause any offense to anybody. Was not going to get involved in something that didn't pertain to him. Wasn't going to be a busybody. Wasn't going to meddle into the affairs of other people and clash the brethren. Wasn't going to introduce what is not acceptable. Thirty-eight years, and that is true testimony. Now, somebody that God made the head of the ministry sat down and was taught from this point to this point to this point, and allowed the teachings to cleanse, remove the debris, remove some nasty characteristics. That we came into the world with. But you now refuse to be taught. And you jumped into leadership and began to manifest the things that are terrible. That you are under a leader that never had envy over another person being head and he being the ruled. That never struggled to be appointed. That never carried favor from anybody. That spends God's money economically, judiciously. Economically, judiciously. For some of the people, what they have done has been inadvertent, not deliberate, yet is offensive. If it's been inadvertent, that same pastor, that there are things that you should let this man know. Matters that you should bring to his notice. Report that you should write. It is not late yet. It is not late yet. District pastor. Parish pastor. All of us can flow without any offenses we can live our lives to avoid the petitions that some past we can live our lives and avoid the petitions this three pastor woman overseer the assistant district parish Every category of person, leader, we can live our lives in such a way that there will be no letters, anonymous letters of complaints. Let me ask this question. Let me honestly ask all of us this question. And listen to this question, everybody, and answer me. Is there any persons among us in our multitudes here, men and women, who 
who have come to this meeting as this or that leader that is saying to me, yes, daddy, I want to assure you, I want to be one of those people from today that will make this ministry sweet. If you are such a person, raise up your hand. May I tell you that it is possible. Completely possible. I say completely possible. I didn't come from heaven. I met my pastor in Enugu the other day after he drew me in the hand. Put down your hand. It's completely possible. And we'll be just flowing. And people will not understand. You just stop a little and think. Look at what the testimony of our daddy is, our pastor is. Look at his testimony. You remember the testimonies. And you follow the thing. The people will know. And then we will all live long, longer. Because we are happy. Offenses re re reduce lifespan. Am I right? Those of you that know about medical something, offenses reduce lifespan. Don't use tricks. Let it be that the lady there, pastor's wife, let it be that as you are saying to the other sister, good morning, sister, good morning. Let it be that that, that mind does not have any, any, any something. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. It is possible. For us to refuse to create offense. You know what? I can keep you. In those days, you saw brethren. They want to be the ruler. They, they, they are in this. They are in that. They are in that. They want to rule the everybody. They want to rule everybody. You talk this one. Go, this, go this way. Arrange this. And one of them was known. And we were... In uh, at Bagada, one of the days after fellowship, he came around and then this one, that one, I know, I know, I know, I know, he's talking, I know. And one of my, one of the brothers, my friend, couldn't take it again. I said, Sit down, what do you know? What do you know? Every time, and I know, I know, I know, what do you know? In the midst of other people, he couldn't take it again. I know, I know, and I went on, I know. He wants to be champion. He wants to rule every person. But listen to me. I was in the midst of the people. I was telling you about my friend, Pastor Gurudas. In the meeting, because of what he saw in me, Indian and the pedos in the hotel room, what he saw, when we returned to the next meeting, he said, Pastor Lotus, I'm going to say, stay with you. Let's go and uh, tell them to change us. And we went and they agreed. And put us in the same hotel room. Now, I didn't tell him anything about myself. And then in the course of time, the friendship blossomed. And then when IGMC came, and then I told them, we had had one, two, three, four, five. The one that he came here was the, the, the second to the last one, the last one. And I invited him and paid the fare. When David came here, he was sitting down here. And what he saw, when he came to the altar, he was weeping profusely. 
said, Pastor Lucius, why didn't you tell me that? Why didn't you tell me that you are such a man of God? I said, but it was not necessary now. Right now in India, if I tell him to write a letter of, a, a letter of a invitation to anybody, he doesn't know the people. Oliver, does he know you? Bede, does he know you? All these people that we have gone that he wrote a letter of invitation, he didn't know any one of them. It is me that he knows. Immediately we write, I write the embassy. And say, these people, their general friend is my friend. <laughs> That's all. So, Nothing can be as sweet as humility. You sit there, move, in the midst of the same pastors. And they are talking. And somebody is showing himself to be superior. And you refuse to be offended. And um, every now and again, the person is not even an elder. Nobody asks him anything, but he spoke. Like uh, sometime we brought some people that we wanted to give them training. We brought some two people from this school. And then they came into the Dyson Pastors Forum. And we wanted to see if we can give them training to qualify to become something. And the first day of attending the meeting with Dyson Pastors, immediately I asked a question, that person that came from first time raised his hand. I say, my friend, you get it wrong. You can't come to this meeting again. That's what I said in my mind. I didn't invite him again. You come here. And then the next moment, you want to begin to teach these elders. And I didn't invite him again. Right now, he has left the ministry. And you sit down here as a newcomer. New entrant. And then you sit down. As somebody who doesn't know anything. If they ask you, brother, do you have any contribution? If you have. If you don't have, say, size, I don't have. And that you, you are not offended that, uh, that, uh, that you are cheated. You have no problem. Part of the problem. That's my life. No problem. God knows who is who. That, was my, that is my philosophy. And at the appropriate time, the person was raised up. Oh yeah? I've been raised up. And I've been raised up. Not me that raised myself up. That's better. I'll give you an idea. Pastor, that's the district of Asia. Ogorie, Ogorie, Odi Ogoma. Ogorie, Ogorie, Odi Ogoma. I explain. Ogo, Ogo, Ogo. What's the meaning? They give you, they give you, they give you, you are four, and they give you fine but they give you she is qualified to be given by pastor give you she is qualified to be given by pastor and give only these two crisis a is given b is given c is given is good for a b c that's the meaning In church, you don't play partiality. In church, don't receive all those criticisms without investigating, calling the person that they told you about, reported to you about. Call the person and hear him. 
in church pastor or worker doesn't victimize does not you okay that thing that you did I don't like it I'm going to show you and a pastor will be doing that has that in mind against his district pastor that same pastor and we go to scheme scheme say things that are not completely true and report those things exaggerated things so that they can take him out or he thinks that he is not uh, academically qualified or he thinks that he is not uh, 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 managerially managerially qualified or he thinks that he he is better qualified than him and the thing is paining him such persons cannot reach heaven if they have those characters I have told you the truth you can't if somebody came and schemed you out don't don't quarrel did you hear me if there is evidence that somebody schemed you out it happened in Lagos did you hear me Come here. Christ of Ejibenam, come here. Stand here. I hope you don't mind. If I tell you, tell the story. You see this man? He was the pastor of where he is now. And he's still pastor. But somebody that was assisting him brought brought reports brought brought what, 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 what can I call it he doesn't know English he doesn't know this began to say many and wrote many things many things that look somehow are you hearing me and send them to me and after reading the things I called him To interview him he didn't say he was committing adultery but he was just saying some things he doesn't know English he doesn't know this and that I mean Kurugaba good grammar and then I called him and I was talking to him but before I talked to him I also invited that person you know what surprised me what surprised me was that when I now wanted to invite him, I was already talking with him and I wanted to invite him. He said, don't let him know that I wrote it. <laughs> Chai. That I should not let him know that he is the person that wrote it. You can go. To cut a long story short, he succeeded in scheming me out. But then when he became pastor, well, let's try you now, you that know grammar. When he became pastor, come and see. He will write me the same writing expertise. But I had said, if you have a problem one-on-one, -on -one, if you have a problem, economic problem, whatever problem, after meeting, see me. Don't write me letters. Because if you write me letters, letters will not allow me to interview you. I want to talk to you one-on-one -on -one so that I will know what your need is and be able to give you counsel. I announced this thing, but for him, I must attend it the way they do in bank. For him, once you write, then Ogakwata Kuta will mean it to this person. And this person will mean it to this person. And action will be taken. Jesus. 
You want to tell me to do it the way they are doing in the back. I said, I want to talk to you so that I'll be able to give you counsel. And when I refused to follow his back way, because I know that if you write me something, Tony, if you write me something, now, and I have opportunity to talk with you face to face, I'll be able to tell you, look at the way you can do this one. Am I right? But if it is that you are asking me to act on the basis of that thing that you wrote, look, what kind of thing is that? He wanted me to act. And I refused to act. Because they don't act like that in church. I mean it to you. Mean it to you on basis of what? When I should speak to you to know, okay, if you need money, 150,000. Okay, what do you want to do with the 150,000? And you tell me what I know you cannot do. Then I will advise you as to what you can do. Are you following me? He doesn't want that. He wants me to act on that right up and he became offended and wrote a letter and said that I hated him and went out now I began to say okay thank the Lord no be me suck you Christopher come back to your position He skimmed him out and came in and presented his nature, real nature. And God skimmed him out and brought back the person. When they hear this kind of thing, maybe the message slips into the person's hand, they will hurt me. Hurt me, go to hell. What I said is the truth. Let me pray. Let me stand up. Let me commend you to the Lord. You cannot afford to drop by the wayside. Mbani. We have gone too far. Look at your age. 50 something. 60 something. Going to 70. If you drop out now, what are you going to say? I see individuals there. Young men that I have known. District pastors and parish pastors that I had known over these years. I see you now. You have you developed wrinkles. Which means age is telling upon you. I saw an individual there that, uh, that has a gray hair. The gray hair, he said, I am more than the one on my head. But it was not so before. Which means that we are ebbing away. Now, why should you after 20 years, 20 solid years in this ministry, 25, 18, 30, because they did not make you the same pastor. You began long ago, since 30 years. And then, it's offending you. My friend, remain there and fulfill that much sufficiently and go and take your reward. And your reward can be higher than a Dyson pastor's reward. That's the truth. Go and be another Aloysius in your location. Go and be another Aloysius. I said, go and be another luscious. Yeah. I can shout it at the top of my voice. I can tell it to all the Christian world. I can tell it to the brethren in, the, in, the, in, the, in deeper life. I can tell it to the people in the upper room. I can tell it. I can tell it to the, to, to, to the believers in my town. I can tell it. 
and they will not argue it. No problem. No quarreling. Sit down here. Yes, sir. So long as it is not seen. At the appropriate time, God will stand me up. I'm expecting that after this meeting, even if it is with this much, after this meeting, listen to me, I am expecting that that cannot, nobody can afford to, to, to become, to, to be a, a hidden enemy of another person. Do you know what? Do you know what? Those things that can crop up in the, in the, in the, in the, in the minds of people. Some time ago, somebody, somebody I had told the person, but it's gone out now. I can't understand that kind of thing. I said, prepare. You may be involved in preaching a Portacot crusade. But as the crusade reached proper, now I was not led again. And there was no reason. God didn't show me the reason. I did not have anything against him. Oh my God. Later on, he confronted me here. As I called him here. He said, I know how I was working with you all this while. And that he couldn't understand that, that I had told him that he was going to minister alongside me. Alongside me. And then I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, call him again. And then he mentioned one of these elders here. He said that it is like he told me not to fish on him. What kind of hidden enmity is that? When he said that, I said, you are insulting me. I opened my eyes, I said, you are insulting me. What do you mean by that? How do you think that somebody can tell me not to fish on you, human being? So human being is ruling me. You are insulting me. But do you see what somebody was carrying in mind? Another person, he has gone out. He also mentioned somebody and said he hates, he hates me. In the midst of that same pastors. Now what for these people? Now what for these people? What are they, look, what are they, what are they struggling for? What is, what is the offense about? Tony, what is the offense about? What the unfriendliness about? It's alien to me. You can't, nobody can be my enemy. It's impossible. And then somehow, if I see you, I don't know how he's doing me in my mind. Now, wow, you have finished. You hate the person. If the person greets you, you answer but. Never. It cannot happen with me. Cannot happen. No matter. It, nothing can happen. It's not possible. I'm too big for that. I'm too big for that. The press people ask Kumi, now do you want to tell me that you don't have a disagreement, this misunderstandings with your wife? Said, why are you asking me the question? That's what he responded. He said, you shouldn't ask me the question. Go and ask my wife. I am too big for that. I'm too big for such a thing. For misunderstanding. Go and ask my wife. That's what he rep responded to the press. And they wrote it like that. So you are not too big for all these kind of things. I am too big. Pray today. Pray today and let tell the Lord to, I mean, reject everything that you has, this, this exhortation, this message has brought out from you. Reject it. Yeah, reject it. You want to get into marriage? You want to get into marriage? Are you quali have you been qualified? Did you get anything from the things that we're saying? Are you a person? Cha -cha 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 Come on, pray. So that after ministration, after being pastor, you go to heaven. Ah, 
Precious Lord, I want to commend these brethren unto you, men and women. Blessed Redeemer, I commend them unto you. Some have put in 15 years. Some 30 years. Some 34 years. 34 solid years. In this place. They were young men. In their 20s. When they came in. But now they are in their 50s. Lord my prayer is that none of them must be lost. In the name of Jesus. This is my utmost desire. Lord my prayer is that from this hour. There is no person among them, men and women, that should have any ought in their hearts against anybody. Precious Lord, even against uh, these uh, ones that have left us, I don't have any ought, Lord. Even though I use the uh, situation to, to advise these other people, I don't have any ought. I didn't say God killed them, nothing like that. I keep telling you, Lord, let them not go to hell. Drive them to their knees. Let them, rec let them recognize that their errors. Precious Father. I used to tell you all the time. Lord. Oh my God. Oh my God. What will it profit me if anybody goes to hell? What profit is it to me? And is it to God? Father, what profit is it to you? That we should miss our reward. Lord, what profit is it to you? Are you interested? Are you a sadist? Lord, I have spoken to the brethren. So that they will shun the things that belong to Satan. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. Oh, God in heaven. Is it not stated? The song says, we are A's. Of the kingdom, we are joined as with the Son. We are children of the kingdom. We are family. We are one. Let me tell you the mind I am carrying. Before we sing that song and pray. Listen to me. You see. As I open the song book. To sing. Oh for a thousand tongues to sing. I don't say. My great redeemer's praise. I don't say that. What I sing all the time as I sing alone in the morning or in the night, midnight. Our great redeemer's praise. And my wife and my children are in my mind. Immediate family, my wife and my children are the people that I am calling our. I said they must partake of this. They don't know this. But that's the mind I carry. And then I extend it to the church. If you say, my, my great redeemer, please, nagle jeligwe. You alone. Your children, don't remember them. I don't do like that. I don't sing my great redeemer. Privately, my children are not there. But I get them into the something. That is to show you the mind I was, I'm carrying. I cried last night. When I read Nehemiah chapter 1. And I saw the mind of Nehemiah. And I wept. I said, Lord, we are finished that a man should hear that fellow Jews that escaped the, the what? 
there's captivity. We are in trouble. Fellow Jews. Under the wall of Jerusalem. That man was a patriotic. In fact, in fact Israel and uh, Jew and uh, the nation was in his heart. And then immediately I looked to Nigeria. Shy. I said, but the Igbo man is the worst, worst enemy to the Igbo man. The Nigerian is the worst enemy to the Nigerian. I began to weep. I looked to my village and come and see bitterest enemy, enmity. They look at Nehemiah. And then I came to the church and said, where is the mind of Nehemiah in the church of the last day? And I wept and said, Lord, well, that is what I want. If you are not willing to follow me, if these things don't mean anything to you, please give the position to another person. Because that is who I am. Nehemiah, God, ne answered his prayer for, for Jews. My brethren, they are in affliction on the walls of Jerusalem. When these women, we begin to have that kind of mind. Listen to me. After that kind of mind it developed and somebody prayed with it. When it comes out, he sees this other person. It will be what? He will grab the person as if, uh, as if he's the daughter. True or false? If this change does not occur, forget about revival. Forget it. Listen to me. You are in Italy. And of course I can see you. You are developing it. If you don't begin to be passionate for them, and you, be, you continue to you see their, their racism. Eh? You are getting nothing. Am I right? You will get nothing. You go to Britain, you go to Canada. And then you see their daftness. Like it's like it's talking to plastic something. And you did not develop interest in the people. And you say, Lord, look at these people. You didn't develop interest like Nehemiah. Listen to me. Your prayer we hit this place and come back. There is a mind that with which you bring down the spirit of the Lord into the world. Are you hearing me? There is a mind. If you refuse to develop it, then forget it. Forget it. The nations where you are, your problem is your personal matters. It's your problem. Sin. Your personal matters. That is the problem of the people. And they failed woefully. Nehemiah asked it and, and the doors opened. Sister Lutz came here from Tobago. The day I preached and mentioned Sister Lutz, this lady saw me in Trinidad and Tobago and came to the minister's conference with the husband. And I went to Trinidad and Tobago and they brought me there and gave me five minutes to, to chair testimony. And I gave five minutes. I didn't know the lady was so three and saw me at the airport and walked up to me and said, are you not Pastor Hannibal? I said, I am. He said, I was in the meeting and I want you to come to Tobago. You must preach in our church. The next moment, we got visa and went to Tobago. And we slept in her house. And in fact, it took us to downtown. To her shop. Everywhere that we went. Sister Luz. Believers and unbelievers. Sister Luz. Sister Luz. A dark woman. A high, big officer. at In the air, airline. High class, high place officer. In the air, national airline. And then. He called the husband. Husband living in Grenada. And then the husband answered. He said, guess, guess who, are, who, are, who are in this house? Pastor Hannibal is in this house. And then, and then the next moment, 
when we gave her invitation to come to this place, a packed box of gifts to come to give to people that he has, she has not known. Sister Lutz, immediately we arrived. Information has reached everywhere. A little phone call and all the people flocked to her house. Fellowship has started. Did you see that kind of woman? That is the one kind of woman that brings revival. If you refuse, if you don't pray until your minds are broken, until you remove the things you are carrying, forget it. I want us to sing the old time song and all of you must begin to come gently to this altar. That must be revival. We used to sing that song. Huh? We must have revival come what is It caused a fire must descend again. <laughs> yeah. It's straight up a Yes, that is rehearse it so that they can understand it line by line. We must have revival. Come what may is it? Come Quick. what may. Yes. Maybe. Pentecostal fire must descend again. We must study in unity, in prayers, with faith and accord until God answers us with revival spree. Okay. Let's go sing the song. And I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to know that this watchman, God is leading us the way he's leading us. You can see three hours or more. I read all the scriptures and then began to apply. And words began to come out. Should they come out for nothing? Ah, but the things that I said, are they true? Yes. Shouldn't our minds be like the mind of Nehemiah? Tune the song. The must, must be, be revival. Cost what, what it may. Pentecost of fire. Must descend again. Pentecost of fire must defend again. In prayer, we and I call on the God as a source with river free once more. There must be revival. Cost, cost what it may. What it may. Pentecost of fire. More descend. Oh.
man is like uh, those uh, gallant people that broke through the garrison of the Philistines and to go and fetch water for David and from the well of Bethlehem. Everybody is recoiling. Christian faith is dwindling. Many people are in sin. Occultism has called in the church and pastors are all carried away. But watchman is saying no. Somebody is standing and saying no. And that person will be aided by God. And that person is a watchman. Do you agree? Do you agree that watchman is that commando? That commando group in the military. When it becomes tough. And they get the signal. And they are given a command. And they are told that within two weeks you recover this city. And I tell you in two weeks they recover the city. Even if it was with casualties. We shall not have casualties. But we are a commando. And it's those that come. And they say this enemy that is staying in this territory must get out. And they sustain their attack and their maneuvers until the enemy gets out. That's the watchman. If you agree with me, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Men and women, open your mouth and pray. Men and women were involved in the charism, something of old. Young men and women were involved and they were all singing this song and they were mad. And God gave the openings. We can refuse to be weighed down by the things of this life, by family raising families and by raising children. Those that are raising children indiscriminately can stop. I want to round up your prayers. Hallelujah. Round up your prayers, ladies and gentlemen. Round up your prayers. God is with us. I say watchmen, ministers, round up your prayers. God is with us. Listen to the word of the Lord. The ways of Nehemiah, the son of Hakaliah. And it came to pass in the month Chislo, in the twelfth, twentieth year, as I was in Shushan, the palace. He was a, a servant, he was an officer. He was serving in the palace of the kingdom. That Hananai, one of my brethren, his kinsman, his uh, nation, his uh, fellow Jew, came he and certain men of Judah. And I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, the remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The walls of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the guests therefore thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept. And mourned the certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. And said, I beseech thee, O Lord, God of heaven, the great and terrible God that keepeth covenant, and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Let thine ear now be attentive, and thine eyes open that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before you now, day and night. For the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee. Both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against thee, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Remember, I beseech thee thy word of the commandment of thy servant Moses, saying, if you transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if you turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them, thou 
Though thou we are of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, yet will I gather them from thence, and will bring them into unto this place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are thy servants and thy people whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power and by thy strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant and to the prayer of thy servants who desire to fear thy name and prosper, I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man, for I was the king's cupbearer. This was a man that just had the visitation of uh, his countrymen, and then he asked of their state, their economic state, a social state, and standing. And the information that he got was unpalatable. And sorrow filled his heart because he had a compassionate mind. He had a loving mind. He had sentiment. Sentiment for his Jewish brethren. Listen to me. There is something that I, I see in a particular area in this Nigeria. That thing I see it in Mbisa area. I have not seen it in any other area. Maybe those things are there in some other areas, but I've seen it in Mbisa. It is in Mbisa that I still see people who are sentimental, passionate about their brothers and sisters. Such thing doesn't exist in my area. That is talking passionately. And those their brothers and sisters may not even be born again. And they have love and concern and talk about them with, with, uh, with uh, some kind of uh, some kind of sentiment. It may be there in some other places. I do not know. I am not from Bisa yet to say that I am, uh, I am trying, to, trying to raise up my, my people. It's not in my place. My place is anarchy, it's confusion, it's hatred for brother to brother, going to court, calling police, same parents. Same parents. They bring police. I say same parents. But now, we must develop the mind of the people that I mentioned. I must develop the mind of Nehemiah. That when you remember the watchman, the church, this special church to which you belong, there is a way it will be doing you in your mind. And then when you hear that something is happening in it and somebody is, uh, somebody is, uh, being, is in trouble, you, there is a way it will be you in your mind. It will be you as if you are, you are, you are, you are son or your wife is in trouble. By the time we begin to develop the mindset of uh, this Nehemiah concerning the entire church that Christ died for, Concerning Nigeria, listen to me. Concerning Nigeria, God will give us revival. Things that will be that will happen. What what He will usher down with at the hand of the watchman will be seen by everybody, and they will say, "It is these people that brought this." I am telling you the truth. If you doubt, go back. And after reading Nehemiah, go back and pray and say, Lord, give me the mind of Nehemiah, Nehemiah concerning this location, concerning these people that I am in their midst. Give me the mind of Nehemiah. And then you begin to pray with the mind of Nehemiah. Come and see what the Lord will do with you in the next six months. I am telling you the truth.
I cried. You must give me the mind of Nehemiah. So that when I go to my townspeople, I'll be passionate. And their, their well-being will touch me. Despite their, 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 their what I can't explain that is found in them. Let's develop the mind of uh, friends, friends. And then among the watchmen, and then you are saying, and some woman is saying, Lord, these pastors, I like them. I love these pastors that are in this, in this uh, diocese, in this district. Lord, I love them. Lord, I want you to heal them. Lord, they are my brethren. They are the people who feed us with the word of God. Lord, I am a Nehemiah. And the woman is in the house. I'm making the prayer. Heal them. I don't want to see any one of them becoming sick. Because if they are sick, they will not be able to minister to us. Oh Lord, you know that they are your instruments. I like them. And then he will package some, some gift and some food. And go and give to the person that doesn't have food. Let's see what God will do with that woman. I'm telling you the way revival comes. Is anybody hearing me? And if I was crying and saying, I want the mind on the Hemiah, I want to ask you, is your status above my status? They don't use daft mind. Daft minds don't bring down revival. Daft. Insensitive. Is it not insensitivity that has damaged Nigeria? You don't have answer. Is it not insensitivity that, that is you are suffering? Now, why are you still alive? That is how it is. With the, why are you still alive? The police, if you are crying, police, oh, police, oh, police, oh, and they are passing, they will come. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Listen to me. They will stop there for a while. Listen, let me tell you what some of them will do. They will stop there for a while to see whether you are breathing your last. And if you are not breathing your last, you put hand into your pocket. And see whether there is money there. I am telling you. In 1989 or 1993, they have fired the night marauders uh, pursued them and fired them and killed the one by, my, by, the, by the back of my house in Lagos. I was living in the first floor and the boy had died and I opened my window when I had the gunshot. The boy was dead and the policeman rushed. The first thing, search him, take all the money that was in his pocket. I, from my window, I saw everything that happened. Carelessness of the politicians made us, made Nigeria to be like this. Carelessness of the rulers. If that carelessness affects us and it has affected people in the church, listen to me. That is the reason there is nothing happening in the church. All these other people that don't have any mind of Nehemiah and tell you that the Spirit of God is operating in them is a lie. A spirit of Satan is operating. God does not come to callous people. Jesus was moved with compassion and he began to weep. I am not preaching my wife. Listen to me. Let me tell you what happened in the village. Somebody came after the meeting. He's not born again, a young man. And stood there and told them, I must see this man. That's because that's what he told me. He said, the people, he, he, he told me when he came, he said that he was ready to stay here until that he would hold me. But somehow, they come and, came and whispered to me that there is a young man and I allowed him. I have known his father, his father, our elders. And then he came and told me, and he said, 
there, there. Let me tell you what I have not told anybody. This thing that I want to tell you now, I have not told it anybody in this world. And he began to tell me there's something. He said, your brother, your junior brother, took me to your house. And the way your wife received us, I have not seen such a woman since I was born. I'm telling you. He received somebody that he didn't know like that. And do you know what? This young man came to the meeting throughout and came to Sunday meeting throughout. I didn't even know the day they came. Friendship. He said, I have not seen such a woman that received us like this. You know that I'm not used to this kind of thing, but I need to say it. If we squeeze our faces and we are and we are and we are fighting ourselves, my friend, how can God come? I'm asking you. If you are having difficulty, this person is having difficulty with this person and he doesn't like this person and is managing to stay with this person, can you pray for this person? No way. Even if you pray for him with the prayer walk, it will not work. It will never work. But if you love this person, if you, if you are sentimental about this person, and you say, Lord, look at this, my friend. He's my friend. Dear Lord, he's my brother. And look at what is happening to him and you begin to weep. Don't let him die. Listen to me. God will answer you. I said God will answer you. I am telling you the truth. Let us today tell the Lord, all of us, whosoever we are, tell the Lord to make us like Nehemiah. To make us have the mind of concern. Sentimental about his, about, about his Jewish brethren. Let us be sentimental about watchman and about the watchman and about your children and about, about the sister. Everybody, let us from today close our eyes to imagine my foot. Imagine me. Let us close our eyes to uh, 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 he preached me. Who told you that he preached you? And then offense will occur. Let's close our eyes to it. Otherwise, in fact, if you people don't agree with me, if this thing, if it we are not that God called me and this thing is of God, I will resign today. And I say what I mean, I just resign. If it were not of God, I would have resigned. I don't do small boy things, cheap quick things. If I engage myself in a thing, I want to get it done. That's the person you are following. Let's turn and let's see what's going to happen. Try to be my friend and let me be your friend. And let's see what will happen. Try to do things that will motivate me, that will make me happy. And the other person is doing something. Provoking one another to offenses. Is, what, is it what we want? Provoking one another to what? Love and good works. That is what will create what you can't understand. Is it possible? It's possible because we say we are Christians. It is not possible with the world because who are you going to talk to? Everybody carries his mind and they're children of Belial. But it should be possible with the church. Ha! Praise God. I remember one of the ladies here when this spirit was in everybody. And she had been married to one of the brothers here. And the first marriage had a problem. And there was a tumor that grew along with a child. And the woman was suffocating to death. 
and the doctor and the doctor at the end of the time the stomach has swollen and the doctor who was managing it now referred them to Benin teaching hospital but knew but knew that she would not reach Benin she knew that she would not reach Benin and we were firing prayers in Lagos we would not take it Ah, I remember in the days of friendship. This sister must not be lost. I tell you. And then the news came. And we, I put out my car. And then the brethren entered. If I entered. And then we pursued. Let me tell you. Because of that concern and prayers. The senior brother was with them. And because the senior brother had known that the sister was not going to make it, and their home was by the road before you reach Benin, and then he branched so that the mother would see her for the last time. That was the intention of carrying her to the house. But through those concern and prayers, as they entered the compound, somebody said, there is a, a doctor in this place. There is a gynecologist in this place. Before you knew it, they took her to that hospital. Quick, 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 quick. And this gynecologist received her immediately and, and, and tore the, the stomach through and through and brought out that terrible, terrible something. Bef tomorrow, we were there in that village and slept there. The night we were firing prayers. And we went to see her. When we went to see her, she was not talking. She recognized that we came. He just gave me a sign this way, telling me that the, the cut her through and through. She couldn't talk. And we prayed there, returned to their house. They gave us accommodation. We prayed throughout the night. Today, she has how many boys and girls? It's in this meeting. She's in this meeting. She's in this meeting. And I asked grown up boys in the universities. Prayer time. Pray. If you agree with me, God, you must give us the minds that draw down the Holy Ghost. And draw down the power and the revival that we need. Give us that mind. That's the prayer. The mind of who? Amen. Amen. Open your mouth and close your eyes. Pray to the Lord. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I know that you answer prayer. Ooh. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Yes, I thank you. Yes, I thank you. Yes, I thank you. The mind of Nehemiah. The mind of Nehemiah. The mind of Nehemiah. The concerned mind. A sentimental mind. The mind that loves. The mind that cares. The caring mind. The mind of Mary's Lazar. The mind of the good nurse. The mind of the real nurse. The mind of Jesus. The mind that loves. The mind that cares. The mind that is interested in the well-being of the people. Lord, let Nigeria stop affecting us. Lord, let Nigeria mentality and the Nigerian circumstances stop affecting us. Lord, I want to be like Nehemiah. I want to have the mind of Nehemiah. Lord, I want to have the mind of Nehemiah. He was in good, he was in good status. He didn't have any lack in the king's house, in the king's palace, in the king's palace, in Shushan. 
but his brethren were in great affliction. But his brethren, oh Lord, were in great affliction. Lord, he was sentimental. Sentimental about Jews. Sentimental about Jerusalem. About the walls. About the sacredness of that city. Precious Lord. Precious Lord. Mind of Nehemiah. The mind that God answers readily. Mind that God answers readily. Blessed Redeemer. Give unto us. Give unto us. Jesus. Daft men and women don't serve the Lord. They cannot do anything. Insensitive men and women cannot do anything, Lord. Insensitivity will not yield anything. It will not bring the hand of God down. God is a God of compassion. God is a God of love. God is a God of care. Jesus showed it. The lepers came to him and said, If you will, thou canst make us clean. And he said, I will be thou clean. Eternal Father, I bless you. I beg you, Lord. Remove his sensitivity, Lord. Give us another mind. Give us another mind. So that when we hear that somebody is in trouble, it will affect us. We want to pray. We want to send some aid. Ah. Oh my God. Who can change? Who is going to change himself? No, no, can by any means redeem his brother. I cannot change myself. I can't change myself, Lord. It is the Lord which walketh on us, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. But you know that what I'm saying is the truth. If the Lord does not do it, how can it be done? Lord, every person needs this mind because that is what will work. That's the mind with which we pray and something will happen. That's the mind with which we prophesy and something will happen. That's the mind with which we announce even the goodies and without much prayer and the goodies will be our Lord and the Lord of the people that had the announcement. Ah. Hey, what shall we do? Lord, what shall a person do to get to this? Lord, I want to know what I can do for that. Ah. Hmm. Let's round off our prayers. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I ask you, all oh, these uh, men and women, everyone hold the other person's hand. Everyone hold the other person's hand. We are eyes of the Father. We are joined with the Son. <laughs>